Hold on, make a nice table for your home. What do I hear? What do I hear? One dollar. One dollar I bid. One dollar anymore. Do I hear two? One dollar. Two dollars. Two dollars bid. Do I hear any more? Going for two dollars. Going. Just a minute, Mr. Manning. You're selling those items much too cheaply. That table's worth at least twenty-five dollars. I'm sorry, miss, but this is a legal auction, and we have to sell to the highest bidder. Sold to Mr. Richards there for two dollars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have these chairs here. There are six of them. What do I hear? What do I bid? What's going on over there? Looks like an auction. Here's our chance to set up housekeeping. The old Bryant place. Jim Bryant's homestead that he left to his children. It's worked mighty hard on that. Maybe they don't want it anymore. I don't get it. Let's have a listen. 50 cents a piece. 50 cents I have. Do I hear any more? Any more? Do I hear anybody say a dollar? 50 cents is bid. Do I hear any more? Bid right up, ladies and gentlemen. You can buy these chairs separately or all six. Bid right up, ladies and gentlemen. Now don't pass up this fine offer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to sell them. You can buy them single to the whole six. Fifty cents a piece for these chairs. Sold. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how about this bedroom for dresser, mirror, bed, and the rest? How much for my bid? What do I hear? Ten dollars for the lot. Ten dollars is bid. Ten dollars? Is he kidding? That's auctions for you. Hello. Do I hear any more? Ten dollars is bid. Will anybody make an eleven? I refuse to let those items go for ten dollars. It's highway robbery. Caramba, what a beautiful senorita. Jim Bryant's daughter. Mira, the struggle. Now, you listen to me, Janice. You know I have orders to sell all this stuff unless you can pay off that mortgage. But can't you wait till my brother comes back? The law's the law, miss. Sorry. Do I get that furniture or not? Sure you do. Sold for ten dollars. I bid twenty-five dollars. Make it thirty dollars. You're too late, mister. That's right. It's been sold for ten dollars. No, let them bid. We can't afford to take chances with strangers. How do we know they have any money? You keep your hands off the senorita. Why, you... He hurt you, beautiful one. No, but I'm gonna hurt you. You are, huh? Eh? Martin finally let me have the money. Here. Now give me that attachment. I'm glad to do it. As a matter of fact, I was sorry to turn you out of your home. You, we needed that ranch house for a hideout. Just leave it to me. I've got a plan. Let's get out of here. Uh, before you leave, don't you think you ought to have your boys put the furniture back for the lady? You both. You got here just in time. They were stealing our furnishings. Uh, I know your father. I thought he left this place in pretty good shape. He did. But then our horses and cattle started disappearing. Please come in the house and have some lunch with us. It's an honor, senorita. Oh, fine thing. Invite it for lunch and stay for dinner. At a sacrifice to my pride, I will say that this is better than the beans I fix in camp. Why don't you stay for breakfast, too? Uh, Kate, it's too late to travel now. Yes, you can have bacon and eggs, wheat cakes with real syrup, coffee, oatmeal... Stop. You talked me into it. <laughs> that wasn't hard to do, senorita. He remembers my flapjacks and frijoles. <laughs> uh, permit me. I'm glad you had to stay, Carson. Mailing and his men went way too easy, so I noticed. I don't trust that Mailey and his sidekick Richards. They want this ranch bad. As a matter of fact, 
Yes? I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they're the ones that stole our cattle and horses. Any proof? No. This is good for an hombre, kid. A touch of the domestic after a long journey on this trail. I'll be satisfied if Janice can teach you a couple of new cooking tricks. My friend. claimed he got the money from his uncle. But you know, Martin, he wouldn't give a dying dog a drink of water. But Tom's his own nephew. Maybe so. But when I got to my office this morning, my money box had been smashed open and all my cash was gone. And there was enough money in there to pay off that mortgage. All right, let's get out there and talk to Tom. What a breakfast, senorita. I'll never be able to cook for kid again. Mailey and the sheriff. Good morning, Miss. May we come in? Certainly. Tom, where did you get the money to pay off Mailey? Why, from my Uncle Martin. Mailey says you stole it from him. That's a lie. Oh, wait a minute. That's easy to prove. Let's go to the Martin cabin. Good idea. Get your hat, Tom. Don't worry, sis. Tom, I want to talk to your uncle first. You too, Maley. Come on, kid. Think he's asleep? I don't know. Mr. Martin? He's dead. Shot through the heart. Blood's dry, too. Looks like he's been dead since yesterday. There goes Tom's alibi. I'm afraid it's more serious than that, Kit. Better call him in. Tom? He's been murdered, Tom. Shot through the heart. Give me your gun. You don't think I did it. Well, it isn't suicide. Somebody else must have stolen my cash. I tell you, he loaned me the money. He didn't want to at first, but I, I talked him into it. Yeah, with a bullet. More None of that. You've got plenty of explaining to do now. Come on, Tom. Hey, Amy, his poor sister. We've got to break the news to her. You break the news, Toro. I want to stay here and look around the cabin. Tell her we don't think Tom's guilty. Muy bien. I've just been looking around the Martin cabin. Whoever murdered Martin wasn't alone. I found the footprints of four men leading away from the cabin. Well, that only goes to prove what I've been suspecting. But Tom said he was alone when he went to see his uncle. That's what he says. I'm afraid Tom's been keeping bad company. There's been a rash of robberies and holdups in this territory. Four or five men in the outlaw gang. I think Tom is one of them. I think you're wrong, Sheriff. Well, I'm right until somebody proves me wrong. He's never been much good, Kit. Never worked hard, more or less the shiftless type all his life. That's why his ranch is in trouble. But his horses and cattle were rustled. Maybe they were, and maybe they weren't. Maybe Tom and his gang just took off with him. Surely he wouldn't do that to his own sister. And look what he did to his own uncle. Now, Kit, I'm going to have to have a lot more proof before I'm convinced that he didn't kill his uncle for that money. I'll get you that proof, Sheriff. For the girl's sake, I hope you can. Thanks, Sheriff. Bye, Tom. Thanks, Kit. So long, Kit. It's locked.
Keep your hands up, Sheriff. Come on, Tom. Wake up. What? Like we promised. Here we are. Like you what? Come on, let's get out of here. You'll be sorry for this, Tom. Don't pay any attention to him. Beat it. I don't get this. We're doing you a big favor. Now beat it. Well, that's my horse. It was stolen. You got it back now. Get going. Look, pal. Let me give you a word of warning. Don't hang around town or you'll find yourself back in that jail. Or strung up. I can't figure why you were so anxious to get me out of jail. We just like you. Does it work? Like your clock. Good. The Fargo guard's in there, about half asleep. Three straight games. For one who's so unlucky in cards, I must be lucky in love. It's me, Tom. Let me in. Tom. Tom, are you all right? I'm all right, sis. I'll, uh, I'll tell you all about it. There'll be a posse after you. Why can't he hide here? Too risky till we get to the bottom of this. Maley didn't stage that jailbreak for nothing. As soon as we hide you, Chico will be back to keep an eye on your sister. And keep a gun handy, Janice. seen Tom Brandt? He's in jail, isn't he? No, there was a jailbreak last night. His gang got him out. Then robbed the Wells Fargo office. Killed the guard. You still think he's a member of that gang? I'm sure of it. Now he'll have to answer for two murders. Kit, you're a government scout. How about helping us trail him? I'll help you trail the gang. He'll be with him. I'll bet on that. Well, we'll get something to eat and then we'll get started. Fine. I'll go on with the posse. Coming, Mailey? Just as soon as I get something straightened out with Janice. Janice, since that mortgage was paid off with stolen money, it isn't legal, and I'm taking it to court. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're going to have to move out. I'm going back to town, Sheriff. I hope you catch him. Don't worry, we will. My little pigeon, you'll be all right. Pay any attention to Melee. We won't give him time to go through with it. It's Melee. Go up. 
Carson gets on our trail, we're liable to have a lot of trouble. Why don't we take care of him and his partner right now? Good idea. But I better get back to town and tend to business. Well, it's mighty convenient to be able to hold up in an office when there's a lot of shooting going on. What do you mean by that? Nothing. I was just remarking. It's mighty convenient. Much traffic out of town this morning. These tracks look pretty clear. You could trail an eagle in the air. Wait a minute. Wait till I get closer. Hill's all right. More guesswork, eh, kid? Wait, you're right. Start him in a wide circle. You're getting away. Come on. in a dry lake. Get back to the horses. anything on Maley or his men. We know they held up the Wells Fargo Express. We know they killed your uncle, but we can't prove it. They've been mighty slick. Left no traces. I guess I'll be running away from the law from now on. There's one more chance, as far as I can figure. It'll be dangerous. We gotta get them fighting amongst themselves. If it'll prove me innocent, I'll do anything. Now, this is what I want you to do. Go to Maley and his men. I can't understand how you let them slip through your fingers. Maybe it's because you weren't here. You'd better stay here from now on. You want to spoil everything? I've got the court order to put the Bryant girl out. We'll be able to use that ranch house as a hideout. Look, I don't like the way you've been protecting your own hide. I lose one man and Joe gets wounded. Yeah, there's a rider coming up. Looks like Tom Bryant. He doesn't seem to be packing a gun. I'd better get out of here. No, you stay until we find out what he wants. But if he sees me here, he... I said stay. Come on, Slim. This is as far as you go. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Yeah, why? I got something to tell you and Maley. 
Okay, go ahead. I'm an outlaw from now on. You guys know it. No chance for anything else. I may as well put in with you. You're not going to help us any. You can always use another gun. Besides, I, I figure you owe me a favor. We did you one when we broke you out of jail. That was no favor. I don't call it another taking all the gold my uncle had after you killed him. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. My uncle had gold dust hidden in that cabin. It's gone. Somebody took it. What's he talking about, Nelly? How should I know? Now, look, don't play smart with me. You knew the old man was a miser. There was supposed to be plenty hidden in that cabin. And you were the last one in there after we shot him. Why, you were in there with him alone for quite a while yourself. Are you accusing me? I certainly didn't take it. We ought to find out about this. If there was gold hidden in that cabin, it still ought to be there. You can always take a look. Yeah, we will. Nelly and I will go inside with Tom. You two wait here. Down there. I'll look. You sure you're not making this whole thing up? Well, why should I? Where would it get me? I couldn't find anything. No? Well, maybe that's because there wasn't anything. Yeah. Maybe there wasn't anything because you took care of it. That's a lie. Look, Mally, I've never trusted you sitting in that office of yours while we did all the work. Now talk. What did you do with that gold? practically surrounded. Get to your horses. Yeah. We killed the old man. Pulled the Wells Fargo hold up. A few others. Richards was one of us. I hope you get him. And hang him. Don't worry, senor. Kit Carson will get him. Mailey admitted he wanted this place as a hideout. Figuring on operating from here. Now they have a nice side out in the jail, but only till the judge says guilty. But if it hadn't been for you two... Wait a minute, Janice, there's more to this. Shall I spring it on her now, Kit? Yes. Uncle Martin really had a small fortune hidden in that cellar. I wasn't lying to the outlaws when I told them that. And as next of kin, it's all yours. Senorita, will you marry me? Fortune hunter. My friend. <laughs> <laughs>